this is the same moments before first pitch. The Houston Astros honored Miguel Cabrera in his final appearance here among the gifts bestowed to Cabrera. How about that? A bottle of wine from Astros manager Dusty Baker's private vineyard. And how about this? A 10 gallon hat. He leaned into it. Look at Hook him. Yeah. <laughs> huh? Eduardo Rodriguez goes to work. Jordan has a hit in every game. He has played all five games this year. There is a base hit. Jordan Alvarez just over the leap of Ryan Kreidler has another hit. He's now 8 for 22 on the season. He is one of those scary guys who gets into the batter's box and you think to yourself, how are you going to get him out? Abreu is like that, especially when he plays Detroit. Ground ball wide to third. Nice play by Maton. Good hands over there at third base. Christian Javier will face a Tigers team that he's pitched well against. Well, Dana Brown got in town and he talked to some people in the front office and they're like, hey, this guy wants to be here. Dana, yeah. Dana Brown's very first move was let's lock this guy up. Well, he is showing why the Astros wanted to lock him up for five years and maybe more beyond that. Christian Javier looking strong early has retired the first six. Tucker's had a nice start to the season, second on the team. And runs batted in with six and tied for the team leading home runs with a couple. Strike three call. Tucker might have thought something was coming high. Instead, he grabs some bench. Here's David Hensley. There's a line drive base hit. He gets a base hit here to start his final game of this homestead. And now it's Chaz McCormick's turn. McCormick two for ten. No home runs in an RBI playing in his fourth game. There goes Hensley as Chaz McCormick hits one high and deep to left field. Chaz Mania Devil gives the Astros a 2 nothing lead. Hey Ma, meatloaf. A 1-2 pitch with the runner on the move and Chaz hits his first of the year. The first home run for a right-hand hitter for the Astros this season. Zach McKinstry the batter, lefty. He is right on top of home plate. 1-0 is uh, off the fist and hit in a shallow center field for McKinstry. To the top of the order and Nick Maton. Ground ball on the backhand. Bregman can't handle it. Run scores. Tigers are on the board thanks to the Nick Maton infield RBI single. It's a good piece of hitting here by Maton. You can see where the third base is way off the line. And Bregman had a long way to go to get to this baseball. Tries to backhand it. Wasn't able to get it clean on the transfer. Good response by the Tigers offense. <laughs> Absolutely. Jose Abreu leads off the Houston four, followed by Kyle Tucker and David Hensley. Eduardo Rodriguez now at 58 pitches. One strikeout, no walks. This one, a shot to deep center field. Green going back. He's got it just before crashing into the wall. Abreu gave it a ride, but it wasn't deep enough. Got to bring up Tucker. Struck out his last time up. Kyle Tucker makes a bid deep down the right field line. Tucker is gone. So Abreu hits one almost 410 feet to straightaway center for an out. And Tucker hooks one down the line for his third home run of the year. Tucker's going to go back to the dugout and tell Jose Abreu there's some better real estate down the lines here at Minute Maid Park. So the Astros now with six home runs on the season, three from Tucker, two from Jordan Alvarez, and Chaz McCormick hitting the first right-handed home run of the year, his first time up. Chaz on a 1-0 pitch, hits it well to right center field, all the way back, and that'll bounce up and over the wall. Automatic double for Chaz McCormick, who is now two for two with a home run and a double. The Astros have hit the ball hard in this inning against Rodriguez. And Jolts gets one into left center field. Pretty deep. Should be deep enough to score Hensley. The catch is made by Meadows. He won't even attempt to throw home. That's a sack fly for Corey Jolts. Jolts drives in his first run as a major leaguer. The Astros now lead 4-1. to one. Bottom of the fifth. Jeremy Pena, top of the order, leading off. Jeremy is grounded out and lined out today. Little tapper right side. JP in a race with Rodriguez. And Pena's going to win it. Jeremy Pena. See if that tag gets her because Jeremy definitely beat him to the bag. Ooh. Might have got that left hand, left wrist. Yeah, he did. After review, the call is overturned. The runner is out. Detroit will retain its challenge. 
probably be the final batter for Javier either way. Brian Abreu has been warming up. And that one's popped in the air. Shallow left center field coming in. Corey Jolts. Nice outing by Christian Javier. Six innings of one run baseball. Five hits allowed. All singles. Javier leaves with the Astros leading four to one. Oh, Abreu missing glove side consistently has walked the first two batters. A five pitch walk and a four pitch walk and all of a sudden the tying run at the plate. Ground ball towards the middle. Pena will take it himself on the bag. Turns the double play. Jeremy Pena helps out with a nice defensive play and Brian Abreu works through the inning. Astros with the three run lead. It's four to one. Here's Pena. Pena 0 for three. He's grounded out twice and lined out once. That ball's drilled to eat the left field off the wall as Pena will head to second base. Jeremy can't even buy a break on a double as he just missed his first home run of the year by a matter of feet. A little bit more high leverage situation and here you have Tyler Alexander having to face Jordan Alvarez with runners at first and third. Jordan Alvarez hits one high to right field. That'll be plenty deep to score Jeremy Pena. Jordan adds to his RBI total. He now has 10 runs batted in on the season, and it's 5-1 Astros. That'll bring up Kyle Tucker. He and Jordan Alvarez have combined for 17 runs batted in on the season. Tucker loops one into right center field, coming on, and not quite making the play is Beerling. Bregman's going to be waved around. He's going to score. Kyle Tucker drives in a run. It's now 6-1. to one. And that brings up Riley Green, who's one for three today. A little bloop single for him in between two strikeouts today. Green, a drive to right center field. And that splits the outfielders all the way to the wall. Hits the bag at second, hustling for three. And he's got a sliding triple here in the eighth. Meadows 0 for 3 so far, but last at bat in the sixth. Hit a deep fly ball to the corner in left center. Meadows goes the other way. An RBI single for him to left field. Peace. That's a good feeling right there from Austin Meadows, his second RBI of the year, and the Tigers are down four. Pena just missed a home run his last time up, doubling off the top of the left field wall. Pena making a bid again to left field. This one's gone. Jeremy Pena, who just missed the home run his last time up, hit one off the top of the wall. This time clears the wall by about a foot as he keeps looking back at the wall to making sure that was his first home run of the season. So the Tigers down to their final out. Either way for A.J. Hinch at Detroit, they'll look at this series as a success as they have won the first two games of the series but the Astros trying to escape with one and a three and four homestand and that's what will happen here when Ryan Presley steps on first base after the flip from Jose Abreu Astros win it eight to two that was a much needed win after a three game losing streak.